Good morning, everyone. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Okay, so in the last class, we have discussed about the properties of wave. They are amplitude, wavelength, time period, frequency, and speed. So, amplitude was the height of the wave, and wavelength is the uh, this uh, distance traveled by one particle during one vibration. And uh, time period is the time taken by the particle during one vibration. Frequency is the um, number of vibrations in one second. And speed is the speed of the wave, which is wavelength divided by time period. So we can see that these things, wavelength, speed, time period, frequency, they are all correlated. So first property we are going to discuss is wavelength. So wavelength is denoted by uh, lambda. This symbol is called lambda and wavelength is denoted by lambda. To write wavelength we use this symbol. The distance traveled by the disturbance during the time of one vibration by a, by a medium particle is called its wavelength. So this is the definition of wavelength that the distance traveled by one particle during uh, uh, the one particle during the time of one vibration is called its wavelength. Why people are leaving the meeting? Tum log kya sirf attendance dete ho aur meeting leave kar lete ho? Aisa hai kya? Two people already left the meeting. See, from today on, don't give your attendance at the beginning of the class. Those who will stick to the end of the class, I'll only take their attendance only. Okay, in case of a transverse wave, the wavelength may also be defined as the distance between two successive crests and troughs. So, we know that in case of transverse waves, the Wave particle, uh, the wave, uh, the particles of the medium vibrate at the perpendicular direction of the uh, wave. Perpendicular direction of the wave, proper, the direction of the propagation of the wave. So when uh, it vibrates perpendicular, sometimes it will go upward and sometimes it will go downward. Right? When it go upward, it is called crest, and when it go downward, it is called trough. So the uh, total distance between one successive crest and row are the distance traveled by the particle during one vibration. So, in case of transverse wave, this is this will be the wavelength. This is be the wavelength. Uh, in case of transverse wave, the wavelength may also be defined as the distance between two. It it should be TWO two successive crests and rows. So, uh, the distance upper zayga or nise zayga, bohi un, uh, was us particle ka uh, wavelength hoga in case of transverse wave. And in case of longitudinal wave, uh, 
the wavelength lambda is equal to the distance of the center of one compression to another. So, uh, in case of longitudinal wave, we know that the particles of the medium vibrate along the direction of the wave. Along the direction of the wave, the particles of the medium vibrate. When it vibrates along the direction of the wave, sometimes it, it will go forward and sometimes it will go backward. When it goes forward, it is an uh, expansion and when it goes backward it is an compression so the distance from one compression to another is its wavelength in case of longitudinal wave so always remember this in case of a transverse wave the distance between two successive crest and cross are uh, wavelength and in case of longitudinal wave the distance from one a distance from center of one compression to the this uh, to another that is the wavelength in case of longitudinal wave so uh, the since a uh, wavelength is measured in a uh, wavelength is a distance therefore its unit is meter the si unit of wavelength is meter Next is frequency. Frequency is denoted by this symbol. This symbol is called mu. This is not V. This look this symbol looks like V, but this is not V. This symbol is called mu. Sorry, nu. New. new. This symbol is called new. Okay. So I have already told you that total number of vibration by a particle of the medium in one second is called is frequency bcnia to everyone ma'am i can't hear anything other people are you guys able to hear my voice hello yes ma'am all of you can hear my voice properly yes ma'am yes, ma Okay, maybe yes, his connection is bad then. Okay. So, uh, frequency is uh, represented by mu. So, SI unit of frequency is hertz. The unit of SI unit of frequency is hertz. Okay, next uh, topic is relation between frequency and wavelength. There must be a relation between frequency and wavelength. We have to find out that. So, the time period of a wave can be defined as the time taken to complete one oscillation. Because, uh, so this is the first line is the definition of time period. Please. Uh, remember the definition of time period. The time period of a wave can be defined as the time taken to complete one oscillation. So, um, I may not give the definition of time period separately, but if uh, if you have to, if question asked about the time period, you have to uh, write this line. Because frequency determines the number of times uh, of a wave oscillation in one uh, second, it can be expressed as since uh, time period is time taken during one oscillation and frequency is number of oscillation in one second, therefore F, F for frequency is 1 by T, T for time period or uh, t equal to 1 by f that means they both are inversely proportional to each other if frequency raises time period decreases if time period raises frequency decreases so they both are inversely proportional to each other Again, the wave velocity is defined as the distance traveled by wave per unit 
time wave velocity is distance travel by the wave per unit by in general what is velocity velocity is distance travel by time right per unit time means in one second the distance travel by the wave in one second is its wave velocity per unit means one so distance travel by the wave in one second is its velocity so therefore velocity equal to lambda by t lambda for wavelength and t for time period so this is the relationship between wave velocity wavelength and time period if the question came that what is the uh, relationship between wave velocity wavelength and wave time period then you have to write down wave velocity v this is v wave velocity v equal to lambda by time that means wave velocity equal to wavelength divided by time period this is the relationship between wave velocity wavelength and time period again we know that t equal to 1 by f right so if we put the value of t in this equation then we get v equal to lambda into f so this is the relationship between wave velocity wavelength and frequency so what is the relationship between wave velocity wavelength and frequency v equal to lambda into f that is the relationship between wave velocity wavelength and frequency or in terms of wavelength lambda equal to v by f if we put this in terms of wavelength lambda equal to v by f or uh, the, we can answer that question in, in two types that wavelength equal to a wave velocity by frequency or wave velocity equal to wavelength into frequency. So that is the main relationship between wavelength and frequency. This is the relationship between wavelength, the equation one. What is the relationship between wavelength and frequency? Then we have to uh, tell the last line of the last equation which is wavelength equal to wave velocity divided by frequency okay therefore wave speed is equal to product of frequency and wavelength and this implies the relationship between frequency and wavelength from equation one we can conclude that frequency and wavelength are inversely proportional to each other so what do you mean by inversely proportional see if we take this velocity at unit velocity then we have to put the value of the velocity as one right if we take the velocity as unit velocity we will put the value of v as one so lambda equal to one by f one by f means they are both inversely proportional to each other inversely proportional to means when wavelength increases frequency decreases when frequency increases wavelength decreases they cannot be increased at the same time or they cannot be decreased at the same time when one product increases the other one decreases so that is that is the meaning of inversely proportional so question may come when wavelength increases frequency dash so you have to write down frequency decreases or when wavelength increases frequency when frequency increases wavelength decreases so the wave with the greatest frequency has the shortest wavelength Okay, next topic. The ma'am. Yes. Hello, ma'am. 
स्लाइड टू से गुस्सी कॉल तारे ऊपर लाइन तो मैं बुझी पोआ ना ही कुंडू एडू मैम याद है जब टा कथा कुछ है therefore the wave speed is equal to the product of its frequency and wavelength and is implies the relationship between frequency and wavelength yes मैं मैं तो की कोई से बुझी पुआ नहीं मैं मैंने की होल वेव वेलोसिटी वेव स्पीड स्पीड एंड वेलोसिटी सेम थिंग हाँ स्पीड और वेलोसिटी ऐसे बोलते हैं तो स्पीड तो की होए प्रोडक्ट प्रोडक्ट माने मल्टीप्लिकेशन मल्टीप्लिकेशन ए मल्टीप्लिकेशन सिंटु ए तो है ना हाँ तो प्रोडक्ट ऑफ़ फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड वेव लेम्डा रे लोलो लो फ्रीक्वेंसी अमी ऐसे लो पॉडर की होल वेव स्पीड इक्वल टू प्रोडक्ट ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड वेव लेंथ तो दिस इंप्लाइज माने ए टू मीनिंग टू ए टू ए की होल रिलेशनशिप बुझाई बुझाई से फ्रीक्वेंसी और वेव लेंथ और मासर रिलेशनशिप तो बुझाई से माने कि वेव स्पीड इक्वल टू फ्रीक्वेंसी इनटू वेव लेंथ ए टू की होल मासर रिलेशनशिप होल फ्रीक्वेंसी और वेव लेंथ और मासर रिलेशनशिप होल बुझ Yes, okay. So next and last topic of this chapter is sound. So sound is also a wave. Sound is sound is vibration that typically propagate as an audible wave and pressure through a transition medium such as bass and liquid. So we all know that uh, for the trans transmission of wave, it needs a medium. So so to travel sound wave. Nargi Sultana, ma'am, I can't hear you. Other people, is my voice clear? Hello, students. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, 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 ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, so we know that, that for the transmission of wave, we need a medium. So for the transmission of the, to, uh, the sound wave, it needs gas or liquid. Gas means that uh, uh, we, the air surrounding us, the sound can travel through that, right? So for the traveling of sound wave, it needs a gas or liquid. Through water also sound wave can travel. And the name of the sound wave is audible wave the nature of sound wave is longitudinal wave in which the particles oscillate to and fro in the same direction of wave propagation so longest we already know the definition of longitudinal wave in this kind of wave the particles of the medium vibrate along the direction of wave in to and fro motion right so as same similar okay similar in case of similar sound wave the particles of the medium will vibrate to and fro so what is the nature of sound wave it is longitudinal wave it cannot transmit it through vacuum so for the transmission of sound wave it needs air gas sorry it needs gas or liquid Pro vacuum sound sound wave cannot be transmitted. The velocity of air, the velocity of sound in air is 344 meter per second or 1.325 meter per hour. So this is the velocity of sound wave in air. Always remember this in MCQ type of questions. This may came. So remember this. Okay, any question on today's class? Hello? Yes. 
मैम अमाग ये चैप्टर बिल्कुल और बेसिस होते हैं मान क्वेश्चन दिवो नहीं की माने क्वेश्चन बिल्कुल आमी जितने पूरी क्लियर बेसिस होते हैं क्वेश्चन दिवो क्वेश्चन तो हो बस है तुम्हारे लोगों को एग्जाम और वन मंथ आगे तक दोबारा एक और स्पिनिस कोई डीम ना तार भी से तुम्हारे लोगों को क्वेश्चन बिल्कुल दिन ठीक ह� इतिहास मैंने क्वेश्चन किन्हीं प्रिपेयर कोई सुआ नहीं तो तो मैंने एक दिन लाओ रजिस्ट्रेशन का काम और मैं बिजी है सोच रही बिला कोई वो मुझे टाइम पुआ नहीं इतिहास मैम सेप्टर वाइज क्वेश्चन बिल्कुल भाल हो लेते हैं सिंपल और दे इंडिया ये रजिस्ट्रेशन तो खत्म हो लग और दिया तार भी सत्तम लग ग तो आज ही बोले लास्ट डेट नहीं जी। लास्ट डेट तो तुम आनु को फीस पेमेंट करा बा डॉक्यूमेंट्स अपलोड करा ना। आमी आज ही पूरा स्टार्ट कोई बोला ही वो। एडिबिकेशन का काम। ओके देन स्टार्ट गिविंग योर अटेंडेंस। एंड इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क आल्सो। Okay, if your attendance is done, you can leave. Thank you, everyone.